6.33 miles at 7.59 per mile. That felt like an easy to moderate pace day, uh, but it also happens to be my goal marathon pace. Uh, we talked a little bit about that yesterday. Uh, for, for me and my running buddy to finish a marathon in three hours and 30 minutes, we're gonna have to come in at about eight minutes uh, per mile. Um, so it's kind of weird to feel like it's a moderate day and also have that be a goal race pace. Uh, but that's kind of kind of what it feels like. I think what I need to make sure I'm doing ultimately is uh, running that eight minutes per mile at longer stretches. And so from here on out, maybe not every day, but for a lot of days, I'm gonna try and make more concerted efforts to make sure that I have longer chunks uh, of running. And so the downside of uh, being able to and enjoying GoProing your running is that you tend to stop. Uh, for me, it's on average about every four or five miles uh, to take some shots. I think now I'm gonna, for at least my longer runs, try to plan it so that way uh, I make sure that I'm only stopping uh, every you know eight or 10 miles uh, along with water breaks. And so instead of stopping at places that are more scenic, uh, maybe that's where uh, I'll skip a couple of set shots and only have the set shots uh, at places where I'm taking water breaks, uh, where the water fountains are along the lakefront here in Chicago. That doesn't mean I won't bring the GoPro with me and I can still take shots along the way. They just won't be set where I'm stopping, putting the camera on the ground, you know, running backwards and forwards in front of it. Not backwards, but back and forth in, in front of it. Um, so I'll still be able to take footage that way. Uh, just a little bit different and something that I wanna be a little bit more mindful of. So that way I'm not cheating myself on these 15 mile runs uh, and so that I'm getting what I'm supposed to be getting out of them. Uh, the other thing that I did today is uh, before I went to work, uh, I went to the Nike store. I didn't have a chance to do it on Thursday, uh, August 2nd, the, the day that the turbos released, but I was able to do it today. And what I was able to do was, you know, I had to uh, wait before the store opened. Uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't open till 10 a.m. Uh, and it's super annoying. So there's always a line for people to get into the Nike store in the morning. There wasn't a line for people getting turbos, there were just a lot of people. And so uh, I went in uh, to try on the turbos. Uh, the Nike store in Chicago is always a little bit disappointing to me in my mind, in terms of how they're uh, promoting their you know featured products for, for whatever it is that they're selling that week. And uh, so like when I see, um, pictures or videos from say like the New York Nike store, it always seems like they're putting in so much more effort than they are in Chicago. Uh, that definitely was the case for the Pegasus 35 release. I was completely underwhelmed. Um, and for the turbo, it was, they've done, they did a little bit more. They did a somewhat of a better job. Uh, not that I'm you know complaining about the retail experience or, or knocking that they can do what they want to do. Just a, a little, a little bit of a side note. I don't think that the Nike store in Chicago is as big of a tourist destination uh, that it should be. But that being said, so I went up there uh, to second floor where the run or third floor where the running shoes are. Uh, I tried on a gray Pegasus Turbo and a nine and a half, and I also tried another pair of shoes that I hadn't been tried ever tried before. Uh, that you guys have been asking a lot about ever since I started talking about the turbo, uh, the Zoom Fly. And so just to kind of check out what that shoe was all about, I tried it on in the size nine and that seemed to fit me just fine. That is a very particular shoe. Uh, they even let me hop on a treadmill uh, for a little bit to, to run in uh, the Zoom Fly. They didn't have any of the SP versions in store except for the brand one of the brand new ones like this yellow orange it looks like you're running with like a big orange slice on your foot uh one uh, that's the one they had available in store i really wasn't interested in that one uh plus I, I knew that online even on the nike store uh most of the zoom fly versions were many of them are, are on sale now at 120 versus the regular 150 and and I, I hate to do this to go to a store to try something on and then buy a different the same version of that shoe but online but that's what i did and that's because uh one of the versions of the zoom fly sp i think it's like the the white and green one is available on finishline.com for 75 dollars and so that's 50 percent off uh and i think uh for that amount of discount i think that kind of behavior is uh acceptable um, cause that's just a, a significant discount. Plus they didn't have that white and green SP version in the store 
available for me, so um, I wouldn't have been able to get it. Even if I had, they did offer to let me buy it online uh, and have it shipped to my home. So I feel like in either event, I would have had to have left the store and then order something and wait for it to get delivered to me. So I don't feel too bad about that. But that should be coming soon. And for whatever reason, I finishline.com, uh, maybe because the prices are so low, but the shipping isn't free and it takes a while. So that won't, shoe won't be coming in until next week. Um, I have to go uh, on a work trip, so I'll be traveling part of next week anyway, so then it'll be here uh, when I get back. That always seems to happen to me. I'm not sure why, it's just coincidence. Uh, but every time I leave uh, Chicago, I end up ordering a shoe and it arrives like right when I come back. So it's nice I have a, a new shoe to come to come home to, uh, so I always have that to look forward to. Yes, in addition to you know seeing my family again, all those great things. Um, but that's what's going on um, heading into the weekend. I think I'm gonna take it relatively easy this weekend, front loaded the weekend with a lot of running, uh, getting a lot of work in that way. And so uh, this weekend should be nice. It's gonna be a hot one, so not really great for a ton of running anyway. So I think it's all gonna work out and uh, try to enjoy the summer a little bit uh, with the family. So thanks so much for watching today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?